Yo, what's going on guys? It is Foxy 98 here. Welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today here on the channel. So we're here with a last to question mark challenge uh, for the British Grand Prix driving as Lewis Hamilton. Uh, before I get into today's video, um, I am going to quickly put out a disclaimer because I have just seen that's coming through on my phone right now. Uh, a notification uh, of a YouTube video from Ben who's just uploaded a last to question mark challenge. Uh, presumably with Lewis Hamilton. In fact, I've just viewed it now. My phone's on silent. It is with Lewis Hamilton. Um, that's kind of awkward. Um, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to do it anyway. Um, so for anyone out there that's wondering, you know, or like just tries the state of any copying or anything like that, I genuinely had no idea, obviously. Um, I have created myself my own spreadsheet of how I make what videos I'm going to make. I always had plans to make this one. Um, but yeah, I am aware, but from Ben's video, it's dry. Mine's wet, so hey, it's different. Um, I'm going to carry on anyway, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. It's it's a video and there's loads of F1 YouTubers out there. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. Uh, like I said, there's there's God knows how many YouTubers and, you know, everyone's going to clash at some point. So, people have clashed on my videos, I've clashed on others. Who really cares? But it's lights out then. We have to be quite focused here. I'm not driven around this little cinema wet, actually. I'm going to take it easy towards um, first corner. Don't Abby. I'm just going to take it nice and easy. Oh, it's going to go for it, they're not like it. I've been hit by uh, Russell, another homegrown man. And uh, round we go. Pick up the throttle. Oh, I've hit Kvyat a bit then. It's fine, Kvyat hits many other people. In fact, I actually need to spun him slightly. Um, but yeah, um, should be a lot of fun. It's gonna be. It feels weird driving around Silverstone. It feels weird actually. This British Grand Prix weekend. Um, I attended the British Grand Prix 2018 last year, um, and it was absolutely sensational. I was sitting in the Maggots and Beck uh, sitting in the Beckett's grandstand, and it was shut, up, Jeff. And it was insane because I got to saw like literally a, there was so much of this race circuit that I was able to see. Oh my god. Um, I still actually haven't. Um, I've watched the highlights of the F1 2018 British Grand Prix on TV. I've not watched the race from like lights out to flag, like all of the laps. Um, I've watched obviously the the piece uh, from like the safety car onwards all on TV because um, that's when it really hotted up. But um, I haven't seen the rest of it. Um, but it was an absolutely sensational Grand Prix and one of the best. And it was so amazing to see Lewis Hamilton's recovery drive as well after being hit by Raikkonen by in quotations interesting tactics, which was for me just heat in the moment crap. Like at the end of the day, Ferrari are not going to tactically wipe someone out. Um, uh, to see him then recover and just to see the atmosphere for a crowd. And it was my first ever uh, race weekend. I'd never been to a Grand Prix before. Um, so it was definitely, it'll definitely live in the uh, in my memories for uh, forever, that one. Um, but I'm not attending Silverstone this year. Um, now that they've actually announced a new... Shut up, Jeff. I'm talking to my audience. Um, now that they've announced a brand new five-year deal contract, I'll definitely be going back to Silverstone. I just want to explore some other places first, which is why me and my dad this year are off to Singapore. Um, so yeah, that's going to be an absolutely insane adventure. Uh, and I cannot wait. I will be filming all the time whilst I'm out in Singapore. Not every single phase of it, because obviously it's a holiday as well. But all the Formula 1 stuff for Singapore, don't you worry, I'll be filming all of it. But um, for us, though, meanwhile, in this race, we're having a good start. We're up to P9 already. Uh, no stops required in the Grand Prix, um, because of how well these intermediate tyres last. I'll try and tuck myself in there. This AI really do my head in when it comes to turning. They just do not give you the room. It's, even when you're like a good distance alongside, they just don't seem to care really if you're there. I'm running also a compromised setup. Okay, Sergio, let's not go for it, I don't think. Hold firm. Again, on the switch. I'm running a compromised setup as well. I am actually running with. Oh, Jeff literally licked my elbow. Um, I'm running with a, a dry set, a quite high, a low downforce dry setup. Wasn't expecting it to rain, so this is awkward. Actually, I broke myself into that chicane. Was not intending on overtaking Magnuson, but I have done so. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a new fast slap the race as well for myself. For this Grand Prix, I'm just kind of thinking about it. It's probably not going to be as hard to finish first. Because A, I'm in a Mercedes. And B, I'm in the wet. And obviously, there's no patch yet to adjust the wet weather forms to the AI. That hasn't come out yet. It's on its way. Um, so, yeah. I'll have to keep measuring the gap. There's 
front wing damage there. If the gap is absolutely massive, like I'm 10, 15 seconds clear, I'll make a pit stop for the lols, but... Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, that kind of just confirms to me right there that um, the AIs are terrible in the wet because I've just gone 1.2 seconds faster than Charl up front. Yeah, that's awkward. Yeah, it just did a 46.7, I've just done a 45.5. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was really close to Gasly's rear end then. Of course, Red Bull running with a 007 sponsor this weekend. Uh, in title with James Bond, and also because it's the 1007th Grand Prix as well. And it's the British Grand Prix, so a couple of things in there. I wonder if Vettel does have front wing damage. Oh, oh dear, stay with Mikado. Can I go for it for the lols into cops? Sure, why not? Actually paid off. Wow. Thought I was going to go tailing off into the distance. Hot ass is on the back of Leclerc though. Give me a free open. I'm trying to scan Vettel's front wing. There's no damage on that end plate. He's certainly got the straight line speed as well. Wrong with the other end, but he's actually trying to switch up on me. Oh, he seems alright. That time around, we got a better exit. It's a 45 0. Jesus. Yeah, these AIs are really bad. I'm. See, I don't know then if Jeff spoke. I'll be interested to hear it back on my thing, because I'll obviously leave it in. Um, but I'm again, I'm racing on what I normally race on. I currently am racing on 104 AI. Um, which is around about nice. Uh, I, I say that I range from about I range from 10, uh, 102 to 104. So if there's tracks in which the AIs are really overpowered on, I'll run at 102. If there are tracks where I feel comfortable and the AIs are a little bit off the pace, then I'll run 104. Um, but in the wet, like you could probably run on 150 and you'd still be fine. I am really looking forward to seeing the AI updates because I feel like there's a lot the AIs need working on. I'm going to pass Charles Leclerc here for what's going to be the race lead. Yeah, I should going to go for it to cops because balls it. Nah, that worked. Yeah, so like, I'm really looking forward to just getting a patch for the game. Um, for me, as that was a bit slidey. Because um, obviously this game has been out for a couple of weeks now. We've not had a patch yet. Um... What I don't like, though, is how harsh people have been on Codemasters for not releasing a patch. Um, as a junior game designer, it's not easy to, to make a to make a game. It's not easy to sort out patches as well. You start making, you start fixing one, two, three, four things. You've got another four, five, six things that will break in the game, and it really does take time to update it properly, especially with AIs. You think it's simple? Bye, bye, Robert. Goodbye. It's nice knowing you. 44 0. Um, you think it's really easy and simple to, to program an AI. You think, oh, well, in that case, just increase their speed, you know, during the wet. But it's really not that simple to, to program an AI. In fact, AI programming is probably the hardest point um, in terms of development, like if you're trying to program something. Especially in my uh, in my game that I'm currently developing right now, uh, Gundadome. I've done a lot of videos on that. If you've not heard of it before, um, feel free to just type in Gundadome. G U N D. R-D-O-M-E. Yeah, it took me a while to actually remember how it was spelt. Um, you'll be able to find out like the stuff that I've been doing on that front, but it really isn't easy to program uh, the AIs. In fact, that's the first thing that you would start on. You would never make... If you have a game which has got AIs in it, such as Codemasters Formula 1 game, the first thing that you do before anything is make sure that they work. And then as soon as they work, you can build the rest of the game. There's no point in building a game if you've got AIs in it and they don't work. Um, because there's no point in finishing the game off. You might as well just scrap it, to be honest. Or not scrap it, but really rethink your ideas up. Um, so I understand that. And there's a lot that they've got to do. So um, in terms of developing the uh, F1 to 2020 uh, and much more. So I give them the credit. I give them the time. They said that they're going to increase uh, the performance of the hours in the wet. 
I like that you can be faster though. It's not a case of that I don't like how fast you are. I like it because I've said it before in some videos, or maybe one of my Krimmer videos, I think it was. I like how you can be significantly quicker in wet weather conditions. Like you can, if you've got the, if you can show the pace, then you can overachieve in uh, in your car. Shut up, Jeff. You can overachieve in any car if it's uh, in the wet conditions. Go back to Vettel and Toro Rosso in 2008. Go to, you know, Hamilton's race win in 2008 in Silverstone where he finished a minute clear. Um, or Verstappen's race performance in Brazil 2016 where he just thumped the field. You know, you can really overperform. At the end of the day, though, I just feel like it's a little bit too much. The fact that I can gain sometimes three seconds a lap or even you know, like three car lengths in terms of the traction zones, it's a bit excessive. Maybe like half a car length, if that. But the fact that I'm five seconds clear after I overtook him on like lap six, it's a bit much. All right, cheers, Jeff. So yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. But it's fine, I didn't know it was gonna rain, so how am I meant to know? I just left it on dynamic weather, so I always do. Oh, oh well. Um, but yeah, it's been quite fun. Uh, I managed to get through the entire field. Power is now having enough of my antics. Doesn't like it. I'm still up on my best time somehow. Even though this has been a horrible lap. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the, the video. I understand it's not... It wasn't quite as close as the uh, Verstappen last question match challenge at Austria. But, like I said, I just left the weather on dynamic. But, I guess this is a video just to show as well that the AIs really do need improving in the wet, which I'm glad they're coming soon. And we do set a new fastest lap by like one one thousandth of a second, um, which is kind of cool. Um, but there we go, guys. Uh, we managed to finish first, albeit because it was wet. If it was dry, it would have been actually quite tough um, because I struggled in the, uh, in the dry around Silverstone. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. If you have, like I said, drop it a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. And like I said, uh, you know, you've got... I need to wait until the commentators well, shut up. Well, that's another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. So yeah, that's what I was saying then. So uh, like I said, you know, this this is a video that it was, it was fun. Like I said, I'm not taking these videos seriously. Um, but as you can see, it kind of just proves it there. The fact that our fastest lap was a 142.610, and then the next best was from the Sebastian Vessel on a 144.6. That's two seconds a lap slower. On AI, in which if I swapped it to the dry, um, I would struggle to beat their fastest laps. Kind of just proves it there. But um, I'll just go through the highlights a bit, because uh, I don't really go through the new highlights of the package that much. But um, yeah, like I said, guys, uh, if you have enjoyed uh, the video, feel free to drop that like and subscribe to the channel if you are new as well to show, show and share the support. Um, but until then, guys, I will see you for my next video uh, very, very soon. So enjoy the British Grand Prix. Um, hopefully it's a good race that like we had in Austria last time around. Um, I'm obviously going to hope for a home win. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll see from there. In terms of my podium prediction, because I did one last time, actually. Um, I can't remember. I think I did Leclerc. But I can't remember what my prediction was for the podium. Uh, this time around, I'm going to go with uh, Hamilton, Verstappen, Bottas uh, as my top three. Um, so, yeah, that's my top three prediction. Um, let me know what you guys think. Take care all. Peace.